Hello guys, Demon here. Um, I am starting a new series called Photoshop Tutorials and What to Do. I know I, I need to upload some more Minecraft or Black Ops or whatever up there, but for now I'm going to stick with Photoshop for a bit because I feel like I'm going that direction. Anyways, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to cut out renders so they are just the render itself without these like white backgrounds, so to speak, or this way. And I'm going to show you how to get out the character or what you want in that picture. We're going to go ahead and start off with the easy one first. Now this is Deadpool as you can see he's all red different colors and the background is white but there is a slight problem to this um, which is the sword right here and that is partially white so like what you want to do if, there, if there's like nothing that it goes with the background you can go ahead and click the star and hit backspace and it'll get rid of that but as you see here it got rid some of the sword so if you don't if you want to save that piece what you want to do is go ahead and hold the wand tool click the quick selection make sure it is on plus and change the size till needed and i recommend zooming in so you get more of an accurate um selection so i'm going to go ahead oh no i actually want the minus for this so you can go ahead ever so slightly and this is for like quick and easy to get it rendered out if you're not if you don't have like that much time or whatever so I'm just going to go ahead and use the plus tool to make a selection the minus and to deselect it so that looks good right there gonna go ahead and hit uh, delete like that and as you can see it is perfectly um, deleted except for that line I've never seen that before well you can just go ahead and take the eraser tool or whatever and delete that so that is how you delete that and get the render out and the other way I'm going to show you is to use a different method now you can still use a selection tool and select the background but it will select part of the character which we don't want such as the gun as you see there it's selecting the gun so what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and deselect that you want to take the pen tool right? So this is where you want to get it, have like no mistakes or whatever. So what you want to do is take the pen tool and just go around the edges, making many clicks as you go along or as needed, depending on what you want to have cut out. So once you do that, I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to go up by the hand just to give a good example. But, um, because yeah, that'll take too long, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and no, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up, all right, um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so once you're at the end, you will come up to this, and you'll have see a lot of black squares and whatnot. And what you want to do is go ahead and click where you first began, and you will have this selected. What you want to do now for PC is hold Control and hit Enter, and you will get the selection. Now, but you what you can do is go ahead and drag this out, or what you can if you just want to get rid of the background, fill no select inverse and I'll select everything around it go ahead and hit oh I'm gonna go ahead and double click that because I forgot and then go ahead and hit that and you have a nice cut out render like that and I think that is basically it um, if you want to you can go ahead and use the eraser tool um, go ahead and use the hard brush at like 100 opacity or whatever fits your bippy and whatnot um, so yeah you can use the eraser tool you can use the wand the selection you can use this but I don't really use it the polygonal I don't even know tool um, you can use that but that is the pen tool I showed you and that is it for today for this quick little tutorial demon signing out